I wish to simplify, magnify, and emphasize, as I did in the 60s, 70s, 40s, late 40s, that if this world is to continue, there's no second coming, Jesus Christ, whatever, if this world is to continue, you look around and you see the floods in California and the hurricanes in Florida and the floods here in Iowa. We all know in the 21st century we definitely will make contact, if not before, if the world continues without a space if not inner space, already the ideas of Steven Spielberg, people are capitalizing now with dinosaurs in all different forms from mugs to whatever. I have always believed that there is life on every planet. Mm. I can't see the moon without life. I can't see Venus without life. I can't see Mars without life. I can't see Jupiter without life. Or Saturn especially. If I was wrong, and there was no life on these planets, if nothing existed, if it was a dead void, then even more so, and this is just in our galaxy, even, who knows, the millions of galaxies elsewhere, even more so, why the world could never be overpopulated and why they're the Columbuses of space are yet to come. But I believe there is life out there. There is some form of crawling life on every planet and some form of, of, of massive life, you know, strange creatures that look different on basically every planet. Steven Spielberg or Jules Verne with 20,000 leagues under the sea with the submarine which he thought of 100 years before Hitler. Uh, even though in Da Vinci with his wings to fly that he wanted to make on him and before he died and, Jules, and Steven Spielberg with all his E.T. movies. These are subconscious revelations, in my opinion only, of the great Yahweh God of Israel, to Jesus Christ, to, to give man an idea of what is to come. Steven Spielberg's not the genius. He's just the creature who dies and will be buried of bones and dust again. The great wisdom of the great Yahweh God of Israel came and chose him and gave him the mind to think like this. So all glory be to God, the great Yahweh God of Israel, for Jesus Christ, and the same with Edison, the same with all the rest of them. But they are subconscious revelations to the world tomorrow, where we will make a contact with outer space, if not on another dimension here, which will change the world, change religion, change opinions of science in the most unbelievable way. If anyone thinks that this is a mad, mad talk or a talk for drama, let us then go back to the silent robots of the comics, which are now the computers, to the wristwatch of Dick Tracy, the Chester Gould hat, I remember, in the early 40s, middle 40s, which are now so prevalent today. So whether it's Spielberg, or Jules Verne, or Leonardo da Vinci, or people who don't even know centuries before, subconscious revelations were given to be continued as the world progresses to what will be tomorrow. And yes, I don't know where these aliens will come from, but they've already, if, if 
something is close to your wrong planet idea, it is that <laughs> the spirit, in my opinion, the spirit of the great Yahweh God of Israel has filled certain men to create these things on paper, on film, like they did in comics, as repeated before, before it happened. And so, when we make the contact, when there may be another world with dinosaurs again, when the aliens will come here, as so many have reported in so many UFO books before, it will change the world drastically. It will change the history of the Earth drastically. And I would call it part two 